this magnificent creature preparing, whoops, <laughs> preparing to lay her eggs is the largest of all turtles, a leatherback. They can go up to half a ton in weight and they have an ancestry that goes back a hundred million years to the age of the dinosaur. But in recent times, their numbers have fallen catastrophically. Here, however, in the Caribbean, there is hope. Leatherback turtles leave the sea in order to lay their eggs in the dry sand. But out of water, these huge creatures are easy targets for hunters. In a small fishing village in Trinidad, Len Peters has experienced this firsthand. I grew up in a household where the presence of turtle meat was normal. The fridge is always full of it. Everybody, everybody harvested turtles, including my parents. It's only when I became exposed to things that were being published about leather bags on the verge of extinction and, and nobody cares, that piqued my interest. Len took the Leatherback's future into his own hands. He began patrolling the beach at night to protect the turtles. A brave thing to do. We were met with tremendous resistance. People would pelt us at night. I have had persons um, insult me, um, I had person curse me, I had person physically try to, to, to wrestle me, I made a machete. So it was really a hostile time back then. If Len was going to save these turtles, he needed to win over the whole community. We had to find a way to get the villagers to benefit from the presence of these animals. He began to encourage tourists to visit the beach and train some villagers to be their guides. To help secure the turtle's future, he took the message to the next generation. Now, what's, what's the largest size a leatherback can grow to? Uh, Shani. 2,000 pounds. And that's correct. Leatherbacks can grow to 2,000 pounds. Well, that's a big turtle. Len's hard work paid off, and now attitudes have changed. Just want to touch base on some of the things you want to accomplish tonight. It took us a while to reach out to the villagers, but gradually we got them involved as well. We got some of the poachers who would be hunting the animals to be part of the conservation program. <laughs> 